Hi, Thrifty Friends. It's Laura. I hope you're all doing well. We're okay here. We're social distancing like mad and, um, and everybody's good. Um, my daughter-in-law is working six days a week. And so that means grandma is working six days a week. And I can honestly say I'm a bit tired. <laughs> the weather has been crap bad. <laughs> I said that the weather's been rotten um cold and rain and cold and icy and bleh. anyways today was a really nice day and don't adjust your sets yes I have a sunburn uh Jake and I went out uh, we were probably gone for about three hours I just enjoyed every minute of the sun beating down on us uh, there was a bit of a cool wind. It was minus four, but as long as you stayed in the sunny spots, it was absolutely gorgeous. So, uh, a couple of things I wanted to say uh, to Lorraine, 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 uh, she's shy, she's crafty. Um, I know you're recovering from surgery, and I just want to let you know that you are in my prayers and uh, get well soon, hun. Um, also, uh, Pamela Blanchard, uh, you're one of my favorite YouTubers. We haven't seen anything from you for a bit, and you are in my prayers as well. Take care, sweetheart. And uh, just a, a VR back to Harry Humstone. He put a challenge out yesterday to find $3 worth of stuff, so not in a store. And what he did was went out with his metal detector and he found some coins and a silver ring. So he beat the $3. Well, Harry, today I was, when I was walking with Jake, I took a couple of bags with me and I came home with $5.50 worth of beer cans. I don't know if your beer cans are uh, have a deposit on them in the States, but here we get 10 cents a can. So um, with the snow melting, it was beer can bonanza today. <laughs> so I beat the $3 challenge. Anyway, what I wanted to show everybody today is just something that's kind of fun and interesting. I do have lots of hauled stuff that, um, that I've got waiting in the wings for videos whenever I have time to make them. Um, uh, all the thrift stores are closed and the flea market where I have my booth is closed uh, for the foreseeable future so I'm not worried I don't want to pile up any more inventory uh, but I will still have stuff to make a few more videos uh, what was I gonna say I think that was it uh, okay so what I wanted to show you was a couple of things this I hauled in the summertime. I found it at uh, Value Village. And our Value Villages, if they think they have Pyrex that's worth anything, they have it priced, you know, in the 20s and $30. I found this little gem that's probably the better part of 100 years old for $5.99. And I was thrilled to pieces to get it. It's got uh, this lovely etched top on it if you can see that and the beautiful handle is very different the little knob is very different from the modern stuff and there is the pyrex marking on the bottom with what looks like they look like a couple of um oh dollar signs but uh i think it's a cc with a line through it i can't remember exactly but according to my research this could be well, actually, yeah, it could be um, 1919, so it could even be 101, or it could be 80 years old. But anyways, I think she's absolutely darling, and I do use her to serve fruit and that sort of thing in, but I don't, I don't put her in the, uh, in the oven. So, uh, also in one of my hauls early last summer, I showed that I had purchased this. Now it's missing the front cover. It's in absolutely horrible shape. It's in terrible shape. Uh, if it was in good shape, I would have paid uh, $75 to $95 for it. In this shape, I bought it from someone else at my flea market for $25. So every once in a while, I like to just sit and just go through it. I think it's really fascinating. It, you can get everything from soup to nuts uh, from the Eaton's catalog in those days. 
Did I say 1932? 1932, 1933, fall and winter. That's what this catalog is. So I was looking through and I noticed this. There's my little casserole dish. And it originally sold for $3.95. And it did have a cradle. So I am keeping my eyes peeled for this cradle that would go with my casserole dish. So I was showing that to a friend the other day. And I had just made him a cup of coffee and given him a spoon to stir his coffee. And this is my silverware. I've had it for years and years. It is community plate. I don't think you can see that there. Uh, uh, so, you know, fairly good quality silverware. And Fred flipped the page. Fred my friend, not Fred my cat. Fred my cat's not that talented. And he said, Laura, there is your silverware. It's the taller one in the middle. So it, uh, it sold, it didn't sell as a set. It sold, uh, like you could buy six coffee spoons, six large spoons, dessert spoons. So it looks like if you got the whole set plus the, um, the serving pieces, you were probably spending about $30. So that was a lot of money in those days. So um, I just thought that was really cool to find my silverware in this old Eaton's catalog. Then uh, one of the last days I thrifted, which I think was quite a while ago now because I really haven't been out and about, um, on a free table at one of my favorite local thrift stores was this. And these old silverware boxes, my sister and I used to pick them up all the time. And we'd gut them and paint them and turn them into something to keep your jewelry in or, you know, whatever. But I, so I thought, I'll, I'll just grab that. I didn't even look inside. And when I look inside, it has this shield here. And then it has that that says community plate. And it has this other label down here that says the Chatelaine Institute, Chatelaine Magazine. Chatelaine Magazine is a Canadian magazine that started in 1928. And I think they, um, uh, they had products that they approved, you know, like Good Housekeeping approved. We get a lot of that nowadays, or we ha did in, in the, in the, in the past. So yeah, this is uh, Chatelaine. Where's my Chatelaine Institute, Chatelaine Magazine, yeah, oh, it's um, something and approved by Chatelaine Institute, and then this shield up here says, seal bright, anti-tarnish, treated by special materials, patent applied for, which neutralizes those elements in the air that tarnish silver keep cover closed so i thought that was pretty cool because that's my silverware that would go in this box uh, i just wanted to show you that <laughs> so everybody take good care of yourselves social distance and let's get this darn thing over with and uh, get back to normal life my heart goes out to anybody who's losing their job. Luckily, my son and his wife, their jobs are very recession proof. So, uh, are very, very recession. Oh, geez, I'm really jumping ahead, aren't I? Recession. They're, they're, they're still needed. They haven't been laid off. They won't be laid off, thank goodness. Uh, but I do worry about them being out in the public and working, you know, where they might catch the, uh, I'm going to give up. Okay. That's it for now. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.